Assalamu alaikum what's up guys this is Mustafa Tahir and I'm back with another video so guys in this video we are going to see how we can implement uh, localizations uh, via a package named as uh, easy localizations so guys let me tell you the project structure so I have created a dart file named localize.dart and uh, it is a stateful widget in which in the scaffolds body <coughs> sorry in which in the scaffolds body I have a center widget with a text and I have uh, provided a static text here with the text align dot center and uh, for the localization as you know that we are required uh, multiple translations so in the project structure itself I have created another folder named assets and inside this another folder resources and I have created two JSON files with the English and Urdu respectively and guys uh, and how to create a JSON file click on the folder new and come to this file and uh, type the uh, and type your desired language code and don't forget to add the extension dot JSON and in these files I have a key named about and I have provided the same text which I've shown you in the localize.dart and in the Urdu file here I have the translated text so to implement easy localizations we need the package first for that come to your terminal and add the package flutter pub add easy underscore localization next is we need to initialize this package in our main and in the main section just before you pass this uh, my app here we have to wrap it first with easy localizations for that I have to make some changes to my main comment out this one and I'll create new one first be sure to add this line widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized otherwise it might contain some crashes and uh, if you're adding easy localizations which is uh, asynchronous be sure to add async and then provide await and easy localization dot ensure initialized and then provide a run app here and type easy localization which requires child supported locales and the path so in the child you can apply main app okay so for the supported locales as you can see we have two locales English and Urdu so the format to write supported locales it requires a list so provide list and for each locale you have to wrap it with locale and provide the language code in this format for English en and small and then uppercase for Urdu provide the language code in small case and then uppercase for path provide assets resources and be sure to add slash after that otherwise it won't pick the all the languages we are done with the basic structure now come to this my app which is a stateless widget 
and under the material app you have to uh, you have to fill three properties which are provide the localization delegates which will be context provide the context dot localization delegates for supported locales provide as context dot locales as we are having azan time right now in pakistan so i'll wait for some time and then we'll continue so one property is remaining i have provided supported locales and another one is locale which you have to provide it like context dot locale here guys we are done with the basic implementation and uh, one thing i forgot to mention is uh, which i which i like the most in this package is it has a property of save locale set this to true now you don't need to add any kind of uh, preference or uh, secure storage to save your language instead you can pass it like this one and the package itself will take care of it so guys it's time to run the application and then we will continue with the implementation so guys after running the application we are getting this error unable to load a set assets resources and it is displaying double slash uh, so sorry guys i mistakenly added slash after resources remove this and uh, restart again and as you can see that uh, it has loaded perfectly and we are receiving this static text now we just need to translate it to urdu and vice versa for that i'll need to add two buttons and i am taking floating action button and i will apply a raw on this main axis alignment dot space evenly and in the children i am taking two elevated buttons first one would be urdu and second one would be english so to convert this language first head over to your static text and just after your string ends dot tr you have to wrap your text with tr and it's giving us error because of this context sorry constant remove this and yes we are good to go okay so translate it to urdu use this statement context dot set locale and provide the locale for urdu the same that we provided under the main section first with the small case and then with upper case i will do same uh, and wrap it with set state yes doing for english en and us hot reload okay i think we need to restart
and uh, there is one there's one more thing guys I've uh, wrapped it with the with the wrong string instead we have to pass the key here so I will replace this text with key which is about and now restart this will definitely work this time we haven't got any issue so click Urdu and you can see that our text has been translated to Urdu successfully and it has also picked uh, right to left because Urdu is uh, right to left so it will appropriately pick the uh, RTL or LTR with respect to, to the language and translate to English and we have successfully implemented easy localization and uh, one more thing guys before uh, signing off this video I will provide the link in the description which will provide the language code for uh, each respective country so you won't need to get into any kind of trouble so here guys I will wind up this video I hope you have enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to like this video share this video and do subscribe this channel for more informative content and press that notification bell this is Mustafa Tahir signing off see you next time Allah Hafiz